you fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Grab a healthy snack and beverage, stand by for a fish room tour. Alright fishy folks, welcome back to the channel. We have a few quick housekeeping items. Uh, the first thing is the New England Cichlid Association uh, Swap Meet and Picnic. My good friend Keith from KGE Aquatics will be uh, selling plants and other items needed for your fish tanks. Is this Sunday, June 13th uh, from 11 to 3 in Ashford, Connecticut. Check out the New England Cichlid Association Facebook page for more information. Also, next Friday the 18th, yours truly will be speaking at the Lehigh Valley Aquarium Society. Uh, I'll be speaking about breeding plecos for profit. And uh, if you're interested in going to that and you want to buy fish from myself, go to my website, buy the fish, use uh, the shipping, no shipping will pick up. Leave me a note that you want to uh, you want me to bring them to the meeting. Uh, information on that will be down below as well as the Lehigh Valley Aquarium Society Facebook page. And of course, if you just want to buy fish from me, check out my website, michaelsfishroom.com. All right, folks, I haven't done a tour in a little more than a month. You guys have been asking for it. Here we go. All right, fishy folks, let's start with my boy Taco. He is my super red dragon flower horn. Uh, I feed him primarily snails and coals and Excalibur, the full line of Excalibur, and uh, he's doing great. He's, uh, he's growing well. He's always happy. He's very personable. He lets me pet his cock if I want, but I don't want to right now. I'm not in the mood. Over here we have his brother, Hank. Hank is a uh, kind of a rare uh, flower horn. <clears throat> He's a King Kampha uh, with white eyes and very, very tight pearling. Uh, very impressive fish. If, if you're into flower horns, you understand. Anyway, enough about Hank. Him and his little baby cock have to grow a little bit. Over here we have the um, snakeskin blue tails. Blue tail snakeskins. This was the second batch I got. Uh, they're, they're not as big nor as nice as the first batch I got. So trying to treat them with a little salt and um, good clean water to let their tails grow back. You can see some of their tails are a little bit jacked up. So here we have the <clears throat> yellow snakeskin and long fin super red dragon tank. This is one of my favorite tanks because I like the yellow snakeskins and the super red long fins are my favorite down here we have the remainder of the leopard guppies these are all males i lost most of the females uh so i include these in mutt packs when you buy mutts over there we have some calico breeding going on we don't want to disturb them um guys i'm not going to show you every tank i don't think i'm just going to show you the highlights but here is the albino blue topaz. There's a couple of fry left in here and albino plecos. You can see a really nice big assassin snail, some baby plecos. A couple of drops in here of plecos. Empty tank, albino full gold, uh, yellow ribbon, doing well. The empty tank had the albino platinum sold out of those. Don't think I'll be getting more for a while. They weren't a great seller, um, but we'll see. All right, let's go up top. Here are some Red Dragon Half Moons uh, that I received about two weeks ago. They're doing really well. Uh, very healthy, very good size. I'm really happy with them. We have the Blue Dragons, almost sold out of these. Most of these I think are actually sold in this week's orders. We'll have to see how it goes. Uh, here's another new strain. Well, I mean, I've had them before, but I haven't had them for a while. Real Red Eye Albinos. Not as nice as the ones I got before, uh, but still quite nice. Uh, almost full body red, like they're supposed to be. The females look nice. Very, very healthy, actually. I haven't lost one of these, which, if you know anything about imported fish, that's it's quite good when you don't lose any. So, uh, Here are the original red dragons I had. That, that This tank got sick with Calminaris. I've cured it, again, with salt and methylene blue. Uh, I lost most of the males. I think there's only two or three males left. So uh, 
I, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this tang. I think I'm just gonna wait and see if the females drop any fry and move on from there. Uh, but that's why I got that other batch that we saw in the beginning. These are some Dumbo Purple Mosaics. Uh, these weren't very high quality. I got 20 pair. Uh, I sold some to a friend uh, as low quality. There's one high quality male left and a couple females. We're gonna let these breed out and see how they come, but I, I have a feeling they're not gonna breed true. There is another male in there as well. We'll go from there and see what happens. These are just some uh, Dumbo Mosaic, Platinum Dumbo Mosaic fry that I haven't caught yet. They need to go in the other tank that I'll show you later. And then this tank will be empty. Albino Red Lace. Not a fan of albinos, but these guys have kind of grown on me. Very healthy. Um, I kind of kind of really like them, actually. And, of course, uh, we have some Super Red Plecos in here as well, growing out and getting pretty big. The tank looks a little cloudy because I fed Rapashi yesterday, and I overfeed Rapashi like I overfeed everything. And uh, Rapashi does cloud the water, so just got to be careful. You can't really overfeed unless you want to do water changes. I don't care what the tank looks like. I just want the fish to be happy. Red Metal Lace, uh, this also was a tank that had Calminaris. I cured it again with salt and methylene blue, uh, which is a new method from the original method I, got, I, I learned about, which was triple sulfur, which is really hard to get here in the United States right now. Uh, salt is cheaper and everyone can get it. And while the methylene blue helps, I believe the salt is what really does the Calminaris curing, if you know what I'm saying, so. Uh, also, there's a couple Plecos in here. I'm fine. Mostly albinos. Just growing them out in here. See what happens. Here we have the remainder of the um, blue Moscows or uh, blue Tarzans. I only have uh, females left and some of them look like they're not breeding as true as I want. So these go in mutts as well. And when, when these are all gone, I will probably just combine them with the mutt tank, uh, especially if I need the space. Japanese blue guppies, uh, double sword tail and single sword tail, homegrown in Michael's fish room. Had these in the fish room for about two years. <coughs> Fine. If you're looking for a small type guppy, you know, for a small, maybe a five gallon or a desk tank, these are it. They are gorgeous. Uh, they don't sell well at auctions though because when they get uh, stressed, they lose all their color so they look ugly. But look at them here. They are gorgeous. Here we have a lonely male albino bristlenose adult if you're looking for an adult albino male bristlenose shoot me an email make an offer i'll see what i can do this is the pleco breeding tank in the fish room albinos and browns uh there you can see on the back there's a ginormous albi uh, female brown male brown uh probably a female albino and then, of course, multiple sizes of different uh, plecos. We have a calico here. There's a real nice dark brown one here. You can see one with spots on it and a ton of snails. <coughs> I'm fine. All these, uh, all these filters are getting seeded for my seeded sponge filters. If you're interested, you can check out the website. You can see I also have Indian almond leaves in almost every tank. Uh, it does provide some healing properties that I like and uh, the plecos love to eat off it so actually guppy fry love to eat off it also but this tank is if you order a pleco albino or brown it usually comes out of this tank at least to start i'll show you the rest later this is another pleco breeding tank it was the albino dumbo mosaics but they are all sold out as well um i got a l032 actually i got two of them one of them died so i have one in here and there's a adult super red male that i dropped in here and a couple other smaller uh plecos just seeing what i what i can get out of them you know we'll, we'll feed it we'll see what happens i can also put guppies in here if i need to green moscow project got a trio of green moscows and we're letting them breed and see what happens hopefully uh, by the end of the summer we'll have some for sale on the website this was the Dumbo Red Tail Tank, which I'm also sold out of. It's a good thing I'm taking these stickers off so I know. And also a huge Pleco breeding tank. You just saw that long fin uh, Super Red male, which is actually sold, so don't ask me about it. Uh, but there's a brown male. 
There's a, a long thin male or female in the back. There's uh, an adult um, male albino in here as well. You can see all the juveniles and fry. <coughs> Getting sick, folks. There's some fry on the, on the walls as well. My secondary breeding tank for plecos. Here we have some grow out, just browns, nothing special. Hank, we saw those tanks. Down here we have bluegrass breeding or growing out. We have Dumbo Platinum Mosaic growing out. And we have Jarwi Lazuli guppies. That's right, folks. Jarwi Lazulis will be back on the website shortly. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to see a nice male specimen. A little stressed, I guess. Uh, but I got some of these from a very good friend of mine, Karen, and I'm getting some more from her in a week uh, at the, the Lehigh Valley Aquarium Society meeting, so I'm pretty excited. Uh, and then they'll be back on the website. All right, over here, folks. These are the Violet Cobras. No more chocolate plecos. They're sold out. Um, I, showed you to the, I showed these to you on the live stream. Unfortunately, I think there's only one male, and I haven't actually seen him in a, a day or two, so... Either he's dead or he's hiding. But you can see there's a ton of fry. Hopefully we get some males out of that. Here we have the rainbow, Dumbo Rainbow Mosaics. Uh, these are getting ready to go back on the website. Actually, they're on the website, but the picture doesn't do them any justice. Neither does this dirty glass. Oh, well. Anywho, uh, these will be back on the website soon as they're breeding true and breeding quite nice. Over here we have the full golds. <coughs> I'm okay. Uh, these <clears throat> full golds, if you remember, I don't know if you remember, but if you do remember, they, uh, I lost a bunch, um, from shipping, and then when everything was said and done, I had way more males than females, and I was, uh, adding the males to the mutt tank, and then when I got enough, um, separated so that there was a, a good ratio they started breeding again, and these this is the first batch of fry grown out. So I'll go through there, see what we have, males, females. Obviously, this one with the split tail is either going to be a breeder or go into a mutt package. But, uh, yeah, doing nice. This is a backup um, mutt guppy tank. It was supposed to be black Moscow's from about two years ago, but they never bred true. So I just kept, kept them breeding in here and using them as mutts. These are some tiger mosaics that I got. Uh, not the best quality, so we've we've moved out what we can move out as far as low quality or not not really tiger mosaics, and these are what's left. Not sure if I'm going to sell them <clears throat> or uh, use them as mutts or just use them as breeders. We'll see. They're not on the website. Japanese blue blue tails, not too many left. If you're interested, get your order in now. All right, over here we have some grow out browns. You can see how many there are. Tons and tons. <coughs> also grow out super red short fins and the blue metallic mosaics. She's sick. The tank is sick. That's why I took them off the website. It looks like they had some internal parasites treating with paracleanse right now and salt. And uh, everybody, you know, I haven't had any deaths, but she's not gaining any weight. So not sure exactly if I'm, I'm on the right track or not, but... That's why we're not selling them, because they're sick. We don't want to sell sick fish if we can help it. Here's the snakeskin blue tails. This, these are some of the original males that I got. And some fry that dropped in here. We're letting these grow out. And uh, then we'll see, see how they look as they get older. Long fin lemon blue eyes in stock at the website. If I'm smart, <clears throat> I'll keep a bunch of these and grow them out and breed them myself. But I'm not that smart, so I'll probably just get them from my breeder who uh, I buy from quite regularly. She knows who she is, and uh, you know, everybody will be happy. Half black whites, very healthy, uh, doing well. Had them for a while now in my tank. Um, kind of a old school strain. A lot of people haven't seen them for a while. Well, here they are if you're interested. This is the Longfill Albino breeding setup. Uh, all the adults are long fin albinos. All the fry, all thousand fry are short fin. Thank you very much, Mother Nature. Kick me right in the nads. Anyway, you can see there's a little tiny baby right there. There's some juveniles. There's some mid-juveniles, mid pre-adults. I'm just making these terms up. They're just different sizes. <clears throat> but uh, they're breeding like crazy in there. 
In here we have the long fin super red breeding tank. Again, these had one spawn. All of them were short fin, not too happy. And we have the Hawaiian guppies that I got at the uh, at the swap meet a couple weeks ago. But look at that long fin male up on the filter. He's just, he's gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, folks, coming down to the last few tanks. Uh, tuxedo koi ribbons. Uh, we had some fry dropped in here. That's right, folks, ribbons that dropped fry. Why is that? Because sometimes the females are pre-hit before they're put with the male with the ribbons. That's how it's done, folks. And so you can see some of the fry, like this one and this one, have the ribbon. That's how you do it, folks. If you're looking for ribbons and you want to breed them, you got to buy the standard version and the ribbon version. And I have both. These aren't for sale yet, though, by the way. Also in here are some green dragon plecos, which I haven't seen in a while. Um, but I haven't really looked either. Just a breeding project. I think there's four I got from a friend. And uh, we'll let them grow up and uh, hopefully make lots of babies. Here we have the uh, tank raised green lace guppies, born and bred in my fish room here. Uh, I mean, these are born and bred in my fish room too, but um, doing well, very prolific. And of course, super red pleco grow outs. Why? Because I love the super red plecos. I have a ton of them too. L32 plecos. There's a snail on the back wall. Let's see, there's one right there. Can you see it? See him? L32, uh, it's an ancestral species, but it's, <clears throat> it's a little bit different. It's kind of a dark, dark, dark blue, almost black color. Uh, sometimes they show some spots, but uh, there's a bunch in here back on the website as well. Blue-eyed lemon plecos, look at them all just chilling on the glass. Lots of snails for uh, taco. And there's some uh, bluegrass fry growing out in here as well. Should we feed taco? Let's, let's give taco a snail. Nice red one. All right, let's see if we can hear it. It's hard to hear because there's a lot of noise in here. I didn't hear it. I heard him like snap at the water like he couldn't wait to eat it. But look at him. It's so adorable. All right, folks, one more tank. Just a 90-gallon uh, mutt guppy tank. Almost empty. I've been selling mutts left and right, and I refuse to sell them from my pond. I want to see what we get, and I don't want to deplete that just yet. So uh, that's why we, we pull mutts sometimes from other tanks. And, uh, yeah, mutts are low. But if you want mutts, I will make sure you get mutts. So uh, something new in the fish room. I changed out what was here. I'll show you that in a second. But I had this on the front of the house, the hose bib in the front of the house, and I... Change that one to a four uh, sp outlet spigot. So this one I use because it's so easy for me to see which one is on and off. And it's easy for my old man hands to turn. Uh, workbench is looking pretty clean still, folks. Look at it. I'm pretty proud of myself. This is what was there. Yeah, that'll just go in the garage. Probably should put the heat packs away, although it was 60 degrees last night. Uh, on Monday, it was 100 degrees. So, you know, Mother Nature's a crackhead. We got some... Uh, Aquarium Co-op sponge filters that I took out of tanks that I clean and sanitize. And then we have some more small filters as well. We have the sink that you guys don't like because it's dirty. My all-natural hand soap that I use, Plantoria. I'll put a link in the description for you guys for that as well. Haven't made brine shrimp in a while. Probably will start that up soon. Uh, yeah, it's the workbench and the shells. We got some meds up top. We got some Fritzheim 7. We got some Dr. Basilier's food. Love it. The extra airline, my suck it mug. Thank you, Stephanie. Um, I put my aquarium co op black airline that I love so much on my little paper towel holder that I, I put my uh, USPS stickers on. Now, USPS is getting better. I may start shipping priority again soon because regular priority is usually cheaper than second day air UPS but not as reliable. So we have to wait and see what happens. <clears throat> but we're thinking about it. I think that does it, folks. Any other comments or questions? Oh, we could take a look at food real quick. Dr. Basilier's. We got the freeze-dried Cyclops, the Smartemia. Trying these Algae Max again from New Life Spectrum. I really like New Life Spectrum. Uh, when I tried these the first time, most of them didn't sink and I was kind of pissed off. But uh, I'm trying them one more time. We'll see how it goes. Love these cobalt ultra pellet shrimp and veggie. But just know if you overfeed like I do, it will cloud the water. Again, I don't care, but if you feed regularly, it's fine. 
uh, Cobalt Ultra Spirulina, <coughs> Northfin Crow Flake, Northfin Bug Pro. Just some of the stuff I'm feeding in the fish room. Of course, we have the extreme community crave over there. More meds and so on and so forth. So, oh, my favorite Northfin Kelp Wafers for the Plecos. That does it, fishy folks. Let's let's give Taco another another snail, and then uh, we'll say goodbye. Taco, say goodbye. Snail, say goodbye. Bye, guys. Put a link in the fish in the uh, webs in the holy Jesus. Hiya, fishy folks, and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Grab a help. Grab grab.